There's no excuse for anyone in a country as wealthy as ours to live in poverty, particularly our children. The government needs to get its priorities straight and fix the gaping holes it's created in our social safety net. As mayor, I'll support our city's businesses to create the secure, well-paid jobs that Londoners' families need. I'll also help prepare the 300,000 Londoners who have lost their jobs for a quick return to work. As we seek to recover and rebuild from this pandemic, we need to build a better, fairer, more equal society which doesn't rely on a Premier League footballer to shame ministers into feeding our poorest children. Inequality has got worse in London after a decade of austerity which Greens have always opposed. And now the cost of living in London is out of control. And increasing in work poverty proves that wages aren't high enough, including the living wage. I would set a real London living wage of £14 an hour by 2022 and get more employers paying it. I'll also stand with fellow renters and mayors across different cities in the UK to win the powers we need to solve our housing crisis. Well, I would use the platform of the Mayor of London to encourage more of our businesses around the capital to pay the London living wage so that Londoners get the decent pay that they deserve and so they can make ends meet. Having said that, we know that so many people are working and yet are still in poverty. So we need to be thinking about more dramatic solutions than that, which is why I support the introduction of a trial in London of universal basic income. We've seen more Londoners than ever pushed into food poverty over the last year, and this is unacceptable. So we need to make sure that Londoners have the, the basic decent amount of income coming in each month so that they can pay their bills and feed themselves. Mm -hmm.